Good day, fine gentlefolk, and thank you kindly for clicking on this video. Too much? So, today, I'm going to be tackling this behemoth. Yes, this is in fact how I store my sewing supplies, um, but that changes today because I'm going to be trying to organize this. It's gonna take me a while. I have a lot of like, well, scrap fabric cabbage and then like a buttload of embroidery floss cause I got a collection at some point and it, it, it just keeps growing. So I have all of this and then, hold on. Ah. And then I, oh, whoa, <laughs> I also have this. So I have um, more fabric than I thought actually. This is gonna be difficult. But the other problem is that I live in a teeny tiny London flat and there's not like a whole lot of room for all of this stuff. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to organize it all and fit it into my room, which I will, let me show you. So basically this is what we're working with. This is my entire room. And that's it. So what I'm thinking is that, oh, that just fell out. Um, yeah, I just yanked all my fabric out of here, so it's more messy than it should be. I do have this storage down the bottom under all the clothes and this storage on top where I'm keeping my suitcase, which actually I may be able to move that. The only problem is it's holding like all my clothes, my uh, winter clothes and stuff that I haven't unpacked yet because I don't have a whole lot of room in this closet, so I do it by season. I think what I'm going to try is I'm going to at least put some of this up into the storage because um, I've got like my cloak down there that I can't really wear, which actually I think I want to redo that cloak at some point because it doesn't, doesn't fit me quite well, which is weird because it's a cloak, but it was literally the first thing that I ever made. So I'm not like super mad at myself for it not fitting because I think it was good for a first attempt. And also I was working with velvet, which if you're a beginner, don't work with velvet. It's terrible. That was a long tangent. I'm going to probably redo that at some point. Hopefully put it on here um, for winter. Anyway, so I think I can put that into storage. I can put like, you know what? I'll, I'll figure it out. Let's just get started. <laughs> I'm gonna just start taking some stuff out of here. I may have bitten off more than I could chew here. I really did not think this through. I thought I had thought it through. I really thought I had, but um, I didn't. Do you know what? If I take down that suitcase, the, the little one on top, maybe I can prop it upright inside this bit. Actually, that would make it a lot easier to take out my winter clothes too. And then I could use all of that for storage space and I wouldn't just have to pile things. Okay, yes, yes. <laughs> we have a game plan. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take down all of this and throw it on my floor, I guess. This is the moment of truth. We'll see if it can fit in here. I never thought of this before. It <laughs> actually works out really well. So now I have all of this storage up here, which is amazing. I might even be able to fit my sewing machine in there because right now it's just sitting over here on my dresser, which is uh, not the best place for it because it keeps getting dusty. This is where we're at. Um, again, there is a lot. I want to start by, I think, organizing the wardrobe and then I'll actually get into the sewing supplies. So really, this is just an organizing my room vlog, I guess. Sorry. This is not what you signed up for when you clicked on this video. I'm really sorry. I've literally just been sitting here for like three minutes trying to figure out what to do. I've got this bag that's kind of more sturdy. So I think I'm going to put all the other bags in it and just stand it up. So now here's what we've got. So there's my suitcase blanket. My bag full of bags is working well. And then some binders and stuff. This is all gonna go into storage and I think I will sort that out off camera. And now we get to the sewing stuff, which is what you came here for. So let's do some of that. <laughs> the other problem is that this flat does not have under the bed storage. Like there's this thing under the bed. It's like full all the way down. And so I can't even store stuff under there, which would be really helpful for things like this box that I need to keep because I'm gonna move at some point. Okay. Here we go. That was a really stupid idea. Why did I do So basically what it comes down to is that I've got all of this 
embroidery floss and I've put most of it on these little like cardboard bits just so, to keep it a little bit more organized than when they're in the like skeins and then I think what I can do is just take this box with some of these index cards and then hopefully just kind of line line the embroidery floss up and then separate it so that hopefully I can I can organize it by color then it'll be really good so that's where I'm gonna start with the embroidery floss Next I'm gonna do my thread in the same way because it's all just kind of jumbled in here. And I think I want it a little bit more organized, so we're gonna do that. And now I think all of my actual sewing supplies will go in this bag that used to be just like my sewing kit. So I've got like my basting thread in there, I've got this extra thread that I didn't want to put in the box. Safety pins, threaders, and I'm just gonna put all of that in here. some bits and bobs like these beads that I've got. Um, I've got a bunch of buttons that fell out of their bag and like elastic. So I think we're gonna go and get a smaller box for that and put it all in there.
almost done. Um, I've gone ahead and sorted the fabric off camera because it, this video is already way too long. Um, so I've got three piles here. I've got like actual bolts, which in my case is bed sheets. Um, so this is still like a substantial amount of fabric that I can make stuff out of. I've got like my small scrap fabric pile that, um, you know, I can make little projects out of. And then I've got this, like actual literal scraps, which I don't know why I'm keeping, but maybe I'll use them for stuffing at this point. So that's going to go straight into this one. Done. This pile, I think it might just go back into this bag. I think that'll be a, a good place for it if I organize it properly, which I'm going to do. Also, this is a mock-up, and I don't really know what to do with it, but I think it's still got enough, like, panels that I can make stuff out of it. there and I know I'm gonna ruin it the second I start rooting through it for fabric but at least it's contained in this right, so that's good this pile the big one I think might just go straight into the closet because I'll probably just be pulling from it I also have this bag which is like my patterns and stuff and like also you know some zippers that I might just consolidate I've also got like zip ties for my corsets and stuff Bus paint sticks rather. And then I just got like patterns, like lots of, you know, don't really entirely know what to do with. You know, I think I'm just going to put the patterns back in here. Um, and my tracing paper, I don't think they need to be super well, um, organized at the moment. Cause I, I frankly, I don't have all that many patterns cause I haven't made all that much stuff yet. If I get a collection going, then I'm going to have to find a better way to organize them. Because also, right now, the way I have them organized is I've just, like, paper clipped them, which I realize is not the best way to do that. This one's in nice shape, obviously, because it's an actual, this is, like, the first pattern that I actually bought um, and didn't print myself. Puffiest of sleeves. I do love this pattern. I think that'll do it. Just organized it a little bit more in here. It's not like terribly organized, but it'll do. And I know which pattern is which because I only have like five. And now I think it is time to put it all in the closet and pray it fits. because it's London, it started raining. Let me give you the tour. Got my sewing machine up there, the box behind it, and then sewing threads, embroidery threads, knickknacks, I guess, you know, zippers and jump rings and whatever. And then the cabbage underneath it, um, iron, scrap fabric, my main bolts, and then more bits and pieces, I guess, and patterns. So yeah, I think it's, it's pretty good. I can't believe it took up that entire shelf. Like I thought it was not gonna be enough, but I have a lot of sewing stuff. This is gonna be a problem when I move. So I guess that's it for today. I'm quite pleased with my sewing stash and it's honestly given me some inspiration to, to do some more projects. So I'm excited for whatever I do next. I haven't quite decided um, what project I wanna work on, but I guess we'll see. So thanks so much for watching.